hi everyone welcome to the youtube channel this video is all about tensor art prompt tutorial so to use prompts and generate ai images on tensor art first you have to open a browser and then you have to search for tensor art or you can also find it in the description below and after that you will get to its website after getting here you first have to sign up with your account if you don't have one if you have one then you just have to simply log in and you will get to this page so here we have multiple templates and models but what we're going to do is that we will click on this create option and this classic mod option and from there we will choose a model and we will work on it so on the left side we have this text to image option which is actually prompt so first we have to choose the model if you don't know what is model there you can see we have different styles of images so you have to choose within that and whatever you choose you will create image according to that specific style so it's all up to you whatever option you would like to go you can just simply choose and it will be there and after that here we have this option which says prompt so let's say you want an image in which a person is riding a bicycle so you just have to simply write up here that a person riding a bicycle if you want to add details you can go for it like you can mention its cloth colors the background the colors the sceneries the style hyper realistic cartoonish painting or whatever style you would like to you can also add instructions like good quality high quality 4k such things so whatever you write here the image will be created according to it then we have this negative prompt in negative prompt you have to add the elements that you don't want in your image it could be anything the simple bad quality irregular body many faces many fingers and if you don't like something specific and you don't want something specific you can also mention that one thing and it will not be there in your images once you're done with your prompt and negative prompt then you have to choose other options first you have to choose the aspect ratio as per your choice there are four options available and these other options are also available you may select these options or you may skip one and after that you can choose how many results you want and once you're done with all these things like prompt negative prompt you have to click on generate so as i have described that i need a person riding a bicycle wearing a yellow t-shirt and there's a natural background in the background so now once the image gets created we will see something similar to that one if not that means this Tensor art is not working properly and there are some lags that they have to work on but definitely it would not do that it will create image according to the prompt I have given to it so prompt is like you're telling this software or this AI generated that you are looking for this specific thing and it will create something regarding to it something similar to it so here we just have to wait for this loading once this one goes to 100% we will see what it generates and we will see if it is similar to what we have described in prompt or not. So here you can see that it is almost done and here you can see that it has generated an image and it is actually similar to what I have described in prompt. I told it to add a person wearing a yellow t-shirt riding a bicycle with natural background let's try another one but this time we will choose different model so i'm looking for something different and i think this one looks good so now what i'm gonna do is that i will add new prompt this time i want to see a girl like a queen or maybe something royal family holding a sword and there's kind of asian background to it maybe kind of war thing something similar to that one so likewise whatever comes to your mind you can just simply write up here and you can also add details in negative prompt but i think this time negative prompt is very much better therefore i'm not gonna touch it i'm just gonna add few more things to this prompt one and you can also change the settings if you would like to and once you're done just simply click on generate and after that it will start generating the image so here we again have to wait it usually takes 120 seconds of minimum 
but it can definitely takes less time based on your internet speed if the internet speed is fast and you have added less details in your prompt then it will take less time to generate but if you have a detailed prompt and your internet speed is slow then it will take more time so you have to keep these things in your mind once your loading is in process make sure to not shut off this browser because if you do that then it will not generate images so here it is almost done and here you can see it has just generated an image this one just taking some time to load and here you can see the result so it actually again worked as i explained it into the prompt there's a girl holding a sword and it is looking like a queen so that's how you can use prompts in dancer art thank you so much for watching the video till the very end and also make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel for more informative videos and updates